So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from Speed Medical Institute on behalf of all the faculty members to Dr. Abhishek Shetty for scoring a very good rank and a top rank in uh, INI SS 2022, rank number 29 uh, in MCH Neurosurgery Speciality. Congratulations to you and best wishes. Thank you. Thank you. So can we know about Dr. Abhishek from where is he coming from and uh, details of brief history so far? Yes, sir. I am from uh, Mumbai, sir. My MBBS was from BJ Government Medical College, Pune. I did my, I am uh, currently doing my post-graduation, sir, uh, from uh, Dr. VM Government Medical College, Solapur. I'll be giving my final exam in the coming uh, uh, in a week, sir. Uh, sir, uh, uh, I wanted to pursue neurosurgery uh, because it's a field that is uh, extremely vast. It's a completely, it's a complete field. Uh, we need to know as much as uh, our uh, counterparts in medicine uh, need to know when it comes to clinical examination neurology. We need to know, we need to be very updated with all the radiology aspects. They say that a neurosurgeon never operates without seeing the CT scan himself. So uh, it's a very complete field. That's why, uh, and also there is a lot of scope for research. I have done my, uh, you know, humble contribution to research when I was in my post-graduation. I wanted to continue further. It's a field that offers a lot of scope for research. So therefore, therefore I... Really great. And uh, how did you start your preparation? What all you did? And uh, how all you went through? I mean, can you brief on that? Yes. yes. Uh, so, uh, sir, my preparation uh, was uh, not uh, like, uh, uh, I would not say it was very streamlined. Uh, uh, it was very haphazard. And even the decision to give uh, INIC, uh, INISS uh, was just a few days ago. And uh, so because first of all, the uh, I was very confused about the eligibility issue since I had not completed my PG. But then, of course, one of my seniors said that you know your eligibility till end of July. So the uh, my preparation would be uh, uh, I was uh, towards the end I was more focused towards neurosurgery. I hardly gave any time to general surgery because uh, you know I thought that a few days more I'll just prepare neurosurgery and then afterwards general surgery we can see later. As you saw in the exams, sir, uh, you must have seen the questions. And if you compare it with the INI CET paper, the questions of INI SS were much, much easier, sir. You know, when I saw the INI CET paper, I found it uh, uh, much tougher as compared to what we got. Uh, INI SS, uh, the general surgery questions are focused mostly on trauma. You know, they, most of the questions are uh, focused on trauma. And uh, uh, even if you prepare with, with Bailey very nicely, or even if you apply your mind during exam day, I think, uh, you know, it's, uh, the questions can be cracked. So we, don't, we don't need to completely, you know, put your too much time into it. I think more time should be dedicated to the subject that you're preparing for, like, you know, your specialty subject, be it Nero or Gastro or be it Onco. Like, you know, a uh, few of the questions, uh, you know, the in the general surgery paper, were very, uh, like uh, you, you had discussed in your video about the, uh, about the patient coming with mangled extremities. And most of the students I knew were distracted either by giving crystalloids or by giving blood. Sir. Like, you know, and everyone forgot about the spine at that time. And one of the situations where we see the spine is when we get a distracting injury. And that was a distracting question altogether. So, you know, all uh, such such questions were, uh, you know, where uh, people, where students must have lost their marks. And I am me too. And uh, I think the uh, uh, application of mind on the exam day is very, very important. So my pre preparation was... Mostly focused on neurosurgery, especially for the towards the last uh, uh, 20 days, I focused on neurosurgery. I went through the speed videos of neurosurgery very quickly at 2x speed almost, like, you know, because uh, uh, I had to get done with the videos. I could not go through all the videos. Uh, I could not go through all the general videos as well, but I, uh, all the neurosurgery videos by Dr. Sachit, Satish Kumar, Dr. Ali, I went through the videos, uh, especially that section where you have where you have separate sections, neurovascular, neuro-onco, neuro-trauma, you have separate sections in the app. So I went through all those videos at a very high speed and then of course I got the, you know, most of the portion done by seeing those videos. They were very, help they were very helpful, especially the sections on uh, neurotrauma and neurovascular, I would say they were very, very helpful. Days, yeah. Great. And uh, how many hours you used to spend daily or uh, how, what is your uh, timing on your preparation? Uh, sir, uh, uh, to, uh, I started my preparation towards the end, so I used to spend almost uh, say, uh, 8 to 10 hours. 
and i would say almost 8 to 10 hours for neurosurgery only because uh, i knew that uh, you know i would, uh, I would not get much time for general and uh, being a final year student in my post graduation i never studied neurosurgery much because we don't need to uh, so i had never completed neurosurgery portion so i needed to give most of my time to neurosurgery so towards the end 8 to 10 hours was solely for neurosurgery for general what i did was just uh, i uh, i just reviewed uh, the, a few concepts of trauma I reviewed a few concepts from uh, uh, the first few chapters of Bailey, and that's all. And now, what is your message and uh, advice you want to give to your juniors and friends who are aspiring for neurosurgery? Uh, first of all, I would advise sir that uh, you do you should get someone uh, you know who can guide you very well uh, in uh, uh, you know preparing for such an exam because uh, you need to uh, go to have a proper material. But most of the time, when we are going for such kind of exam we do not have a proper guidance we do not know what to prepare we do not know what to book to prepare and especially for those who uh, want to pursue neurosurgery i would say uh, that uh, greenberg is a must you know you uh, please do greenberg very nicely because once you do greenberg getting through any videos beat the speed videos of any any uh, other app videos that would be much easier once you the once they get in the get in the flow of greenberg greenberg will give you a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, concepts that uh you that will help you build on your uh, addition so i would say for those who are apply uh, applying for neuro i would say please do greenberg if you'll have the time then snails you can do i could not do snails anatomy uh, my senior did advise me to do snails clinical anatomy but i did not have the time but i did greenberg very nicely uh, and uh, i did watch the video so for someone who is wants to do neuro surgery i think you should do green when preferably devote more of your time towards the specialty because the questions from general are going to be such that you can answer them it's not that uh, you cannot answer them they are very approachable even if you apply your be uh, and be focused on exam day if you apply your mind very well you can get to those questions i think so much of the time towards specialty okay. so uh, how how you join speed when who recommended you to do so uh speed is uh, it's known throughout the country you know for uh, providing uh, super specialty ed- education and uh, uh, my seniors uh, did uh, join speed uh, uh, so then afterwards i came to know through them also that uh, speed is the app i joined in uh, last february 2021 february i had joined speed so uh, i had selected two uh, specialties uh, neuro surgery and surgical gastroenterology but uh, then afterwards i focused more towards uh, neuro surgery Surgical yes, gastroenterology is some that uh, something that everyone does like in their general surgery. <laughs> but then afterwards, I focus on surgery. So nobody can touch. Huh? General surgeon can touch uh, uh, surgical gastroenterology case, but he cannot touch. Yes, sir. Very true, sir. Very true. The only thing about surgical gastro is that everyone wants to do surgical gastro. Neuro surgery is something that you only a neuro surgeon does. So uh, that is a very safe field in that sense. <laughs> so you don't want to. do something what others are doing <laughs> good and it's been a pleasure to uh, meet you sir as always in uh, in fact these kind of interviews have been a big inspiration to me uh, you know ever since i had joined speed i used to always watch your interviews with all the students so it has been a big inspiration my rank is 29 i don't know like you know the number of seats are just 22 so i really don't know if i make through but uh, still uh, being uh, in contact with such people has always been a uh, very big inspiration thank you very much. Great, you are you are come to the target in the firing range, and you are well with the firing. As you say it, as you always say it, come in the firing range. Then anything, any exam is doable, huh? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So I really would like to thank my parents, my teachers, my friends, my colleagues, everyone in this journey who has support, who have supported me throughout my juniors and seniors as well. Yes. Great, doctor. It's nice to it's nice to have you here. And one trend which I have seen, I may I made almost today. almost close to 20 and odd interviews so far and uh, of that 19 students are freshers that means they are just completing their final year not completed just completing or about to complete total paradigm shift because last year when i used to make interviews the students generally used to have been one year or two year after post uh, pg but here the trend is totally changed Trend is totally changed. Yes. I was really amazed. How this guy did it? How? How? Yes. It's not one. It is yes. not one. Many. Almost everyone. Those people so who I have done over the over the years, you know, after giving MBBS and MS and now MCS, we have realized that the first attempt is the best attempt. Like you know, 
over the real, over the years that realization has come that how much you can do in your first go maybe that much uh, enthusiasm you may never get in your subsequent goes obviously with that uh, with the great determination you can do but your first attempt is your best attempt that's what it is. and that so, is what uh, that way so congratulations for that as well <laughs> thank you very much. so you your trend you mean uh, you are keeping a trend now trend setting now now would be now with the, your trend setters huh? <laughs> so previously this uh, superficiality degrees were done five to six years or four years three years uh, according to the convenience and timing now uh, the time period is coming down now it was uh, one year two year now it is next day what even next day advance booking it has become like that because even our seniors used to say the the earlier you get into the market the better so you have to get into the market the earlier <laughs> very good doctor i wish you all the best and uh, all the success for a great career in neurosurgery keep thank going you. best wishes to you thank you very much thank you